Hey guys, so um, I wanted to make a quick video just to talk about um, how I'm going to do my pre recorded lessons um, and how I'm going to use my desktop computer with my document camera to do that. Um, so, the first thing is let me show you what my setup looks like. Um, and actually, let me make my video smaller because that's kind of creeping me out. And um, at my setup, um, I took, I checked out one of the document cameras from the school. Um, I have that attached to my personal desktop computer at home. That's what you see circled in yellow here. This is actually the newest document camera that they rolled out. Um, if you're getting one from the school, this is the one they're checking out to you, um, I guess, while supplies last. Um, the other thing I'm using is I have a webcam up here um, that's in the blue circle. That's attached to my my desktop computer. Um, and then finally, I have my own personal Chromebook. Um, this is not a school device, but if you did check one out from school, it will, it will function the same way. So um, if you don't own a webcam um, and you're going to go the route of using your desktop computer to do this, um, if you go to the wire cutter, um, I'm going to put this link in the description of the video too so you can check it out. Um, they have recommendations for what the best webcams are to buy, so it kind of takes the guesswork out of um, like choosing the right tech. Um, I actually use the wire cutter for a lot of different things. If I'm ever making a big purchase, I usually search Google for whatever I'm buying plus the word wire cutter and see if they've already done the, re the reviews for me. Because as you can see, they go through um, and they do a ton of research. Um, you know, lots of different information about, you know, why they, you know, chose one over the other, why one is better. Um, and they also tell you which ones not to buy, um, usually. So anyway, that's, that's what I have for my webcam. Um, and, uh, let's go back to, uh, the actual recording. So, uh, to do my screen recording, I'm using a program called Loom, um, this is not to be confused with Zoom, which is the one that the school district does not want us to use. Zoom is a video call um, program, um, just like Google Meets is. And the, the reason they don't want us using Zoom is because um, people can like, like random people from the internet can like jump into random Zooms, like hack them basically. Um, and we know obviously we don't want that. Um, so Loom, Loom is actually free for teachers. If you go to their website, I'm going to pull it up right now. If you go to Loom, oh, I'm already logged in. Let me log out of here. So when you go to Loom's website, um, you want to go up here to the top right where it says get Loom for free. And what I did was I signed up with using my Google. So if you click this button right here in the, in the top, um, it's going to give you a pop-up screen and you can either enter or use your school credentials if they're already saved on there. Um, the reason you want to use your school credentials for this is because um, Loom will automatically recognize that you're an educator um, and will upgrade you to their pro version for free. Um, so let me go ahead and log in. I've already done that, so it's not going to show that here on the screen. But uh, at any rate, so this is what the, the Loom page looks like. Um, once you're here at this point, this is this is just like the repository of videos that um, that you've recorded. So what you need to do is download the software. If you, I think you come up here to more. Yeah, come up here where it says more, and then this little menu should show up, and you can click desktop app, and that's going to bring you to the screen where you can download Loom for your computer. You're going to want to download that and go ahead and follow the instructions to install it. Um, now, I'm already using Loom currently to record this video, so I can't launch it again to show you exactly how it works. But once you go to your desktop and you see this icon for Loom here, you're going to double click that to open it up. And if you go to, um, I'm going to show, I took a screenshot of what it looks like so you can see. But on here, you can choose if you want to display your screen plus your webcam feed, or if you just want your screen, or if you just want your camera. Um, so make sure that you choose um, the correct sources here for the video and the microphone. Typically, if you have a webcam, they're going to be the same because most webcams have a microphone built in. 
Um, and then at the bottom, you're just going to hit start recording. This webcam picture is going to pop up into your bottom left corner of your screen, and you have some options there in terms of like how large you want the image to be. And then your entire screen and your desktop is going to be in the background, so it's just going to start recording. Um, when you're done, if you can see on the left side of my screen, I don't know if you can see this or not, it might just be on my screen, but there's a red stop button that I can click on. When I click that, it's going to stop recording, and then Loom will automatically take you right back to its, um, its website where your video is stored. So see how right here on Loom it says right here my video is uploading? That's the one I'm recording right now. Um, but once I'm done, it will automatically upload it to Loom and store it in your library in here. Um, I took a small video earlier that was like one second long. We're not going to play that. But um, once you're looking at your recording, you can actually choose the download option right here. And it will download the whole recording to your desktop, um, or into your downloads folder. Once you have that, you can post it in Google Classroom. Um, I'm going to make a separate recording. Um, to demonstrate some various things about Google Classroom, including posting videos. So um, be on the lookout for that one, too. Um, the other thing, too, is so that I just went over how to record your screen and get your webcam feed as a part of that. Um, the other component to this is using the document camera. So to do that, um, you actually need to if you're using the, the one from the school, um, you would need to download the Sphere software. Um, if you already have in your classroom the newest document camera, you already have this software installed on your work computer, so you might be familiar with using it. Um, if you're not, that's okay. I'm going to show you what to do. So you're just going to go uh, go to Google. That's how I found it. Um, just go to Google and type Aversphere 2, and it's going to be the very first option right here from Aver USA. It's going to take you to their website, and you can just click where it says download right in the middle. Um, once you get to this screen, you'll actually be downloading a suite of software called the A Plus Suite. There's a download button right here, a tab, and then you're going to choose what um, platform you're on. I'm using Windows. Um, I do not know what it's like on a Mac, so maybe there's someone else who has a Mac who can test that out and screen record it. Um, but you're going to download the Windows uh, version. It should be this very first one right here. Just click on that link. You'll follow the directions to go ahead and install that. Um, and then once you have that installed, basically your procedure would be you want to open Loom and then uh, start the recording and then go to your desktop and open the Spear program. That's going to take a second to load. I have my document camera already plugged into my computer, so it automatically detected. Um, and then once you're here, oh, I need to focus that, sorry. So it's focused. Um, you can toggle on the little light or not. This is without the light. This is with the light, whatever looks better. Um, and then I'm going to zoom a little bit. I'm just using the scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom in and out. Um, I think if you go down to uh, the camera controls, you can control the zoom that way also. Zoom in, zoom out. Um, so basically, at this point, what I would do is I would just put my notes or whatever it is that I'm going to be demoing for the kids. Uh, right under the camera screen, just like you would do in the classroom, and then just start writing. Um, so here's like a sample math problem. Um, here's an integral, and that's going to be x squared plus a constant. So bam, there's my notes. And then um, once you finish with that, you can just go ahead and hit stop button on the recording from Loom, and it will upload your video automatically. You may want to adjust the size of this window so that the recording um, is larger. So as I just did here, um, I maximized the sphere window. And then as you can see, the, the recording of what I'm drawing on my, um, on my paper is much clearer. So um, I can go ahead and close that out. Um, and that's going to be it for this video. Um, there's another option that you have. Actually, there's tons of other options that you have. Um, another one that I've tried um, is using, it actually uses my Chromebook and my desktop in conjunction. So instead of using, I'm actually not using any paper at all for that or document camera. I'm, I'm drawing on the touch screen of my Chromebook um, and recording myself using Loom in a similar fashion. So 
Um, I'm actually going to make a separate video on how to do that. So if you're interested, just um, keep your eyes out for that video. And I hope to publish a couple more so that there's some more demos for you guys to use. All right. See you next time.